Now to our other big story. New developments after a series of terror attacks this Easter Sunday, killing more than 200, including Americans. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Sion Rhodes. And I'm Jonathan Martinez. The island country in South Asia was hit by at least eight explosions Sunday morning, bomb blasts targeting churches and hotels. This right here is a live look from Colombo, the capital of Sri Lanka. At least 450 people were injured as many were celebrating this holy day. We have team coverage for you tonight, including how Sri Lankans are paying tribute to the lives lost. But we start with NBC's Sarah Hartman who has the newest information. The blast shook churches during the holiest day on the Christian calendar. The explosion started just before 9 a.m. Packed Easter services shattered. When it was over, chaos and carnage. Dash cam footage captured the moment one blast ripped through St. Anthony's shrine in the capital, Colombo. This is what the inside looks like now. The near simultaneous blast targeting three churches across the country and in the capital, three luxury hotels popular with tourists. Later, two more explosions reported in the city. Witnesses described the horror. So I could see a lot of people with uh, glass pierced into their body, uh, people with blood all over them. I saw a lot of uh, chefs from Shangri-La with white apron on, which had been almost painted red, if I could say so with all the blood of the guests or themselves, I don't know. But yeah, it was, it was very tragic. Among the dead, two U.S. citizens. President Trump tweeting condolences to Sri Lanka, writing, we stand ready to help. The State Department condemning the terror attacks. Tonight, Sri Lankan police say they've arrested seven suspects. The prime minister acknowledging there was intelligence on possible attacks and now pledging a full investigation. The government has placed the entire country under curfew overnight and blocked access to social media. As Sri Lankans who'd planned to celebrate Easter with their families now plan funerals. Sarah Harmon, NBC News. And new tonight, Sri Lankans here in Houston holding a special ceremony tonight, paying tribute to those killed and injured in the attacks. And we're hearing from someone who knows three of the people killed. Channel 2 Sally Mamdu live on Houston's east side with this story. Sally? And see on there about 300 Sri Lankan families that live in the Houston metropolitan area and tonight all of them are grieving. Candles outlining the shape of the small island of Sri Lanka, the Houston Buddhist temple to pay tribute to the bombing victims thousands of miles away in Sri Lanka. On this Easter Sunday and inside this temple shrine, local Sri Lankans praying for healing. We invited you to come and participate in this service just to mainly to send this good energy entire country Sri Lanka. Monk Pesna Gorda Rahula led the service echoing many in attendance. We are so much saddened that such a tragedy has taken place in Sri Lanka. This is very tragic and this is senseless. Among those bowing their heads is Nivantha Rao, who grew up attending St. Anthony's Church in the country's capital of Colombo. The church was among the three churches bombed on Easter Sunday. The place is more like more peaceful and calm and quiet uh, a church in Sri Lanka, like one of the most uh, sacred places among the Catholic community in Sri Lanka. So no one even uh, ever expect this to happen to that church. But his grief goes even deeper. Raul knew three victims. The mother, father and child, uh, they all died. A loss that leaves him at a loss of wards, who just like the many here, chose prayers to comfort their grief. Now the local Sri Lankan community plans to hold a fundraiser to help benefit the victims. We are live in East Houston, Sally Mabdu, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Local leaders are also offering their thoughts on today's violence in Sri Lanka. Cardinal Daniel DiNardo issuing a statement saying in part, quote, we offer our prayers for the victims and their families, and we join with all people of goodwill condemning these acts of terrorism. Meanwhile, the Houston Police Department offering its condolences earlier today on Twitter. The department saying, quote, our hearts go out to the victims and families of the attack in Sri Lanka. Although there is no no known Houston nexus. In light of these and past attacks on religious institutions worldwide, every day HPD officers continue to patrol and visit the religious institutions in their beat. On clicktohouston.com, you can stay on top of the latest developments out of Sri Lanka and read reaction from around the world. It's all right there on our homepage.